early morning, and today these cooks have one last chance to prove themselves. First, they will join the lunchtime service at two of Dublin's newest restaurants. I feel like I'm only in here a wet weekend, and I can't believe we're being unleashed on the public. Stephanie and Nick will join the kitchen at the Marker Hotel, while Sonia and Niall will be earning their aprons at the hot stove. I'm up for the challenge. I'm ready. Sonia, yes. Hi, I'm Joy. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. I'm nice Niall. Hi, nice Niall. How are you? Yeah. Welcome to the hot stove. Thank you. So, how are your piping techniques? We're about to find out. Yeah. Niall is on a main course of slow braised lamb shoulder, char grilled vegetables, caramelised onion tart, and mashed potato with lamb jus. Will I get a trial uh, run of this? Place now? That was it. Fresh apple. Sonia will take charge of dessert. Apple crumble with creme fraiche, salted caramel and apple sorbet. Just along the Liffey in the Marker Hotel, executive chef Gareth has delegated Nick a starter of seared grey mullet with almond scordalia, Liscara crab, Irish tom berries and cumin crisp bread. You all right with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's about speed and accuracy. It's also seafood for Stephanie's main course, pan roasted stone bass, Mussel and clam bouillabaisse with saffron aioli and a sourdough croot. Every dish is going to look exactly like that. I will do it again. Over at the hot stove, Sonia's dish requires a lot of prep. Just about three and a half thousand apples to go. Yesterday's lumpy puree nearly cost Niall his place. He's unlikely to get another lifeline. You need to do it really fast because if the potatoes cool down, it's really hard to press it through the sieve. Something like a bit of pressure to, uh, <laughs> yeah, to, exactly. to get you going. Slightly different to yesterday. The reason I had lumps is because I did try and sieve it. it. Came out sort of soupy, watery, slosh. A bit nervous. It's going to be a busy service, so I uh, just hope I can keep up with the pace. In any professional kitchen, good organisation is vital, and Stephanie must remember each element of her intricate dish. I'm a little bit concerned about uh, Stephanie because I'm just worried our nerves are going to get the better of because she's already behaving very nervously, but she might be fine. I'm hoping she'll be fine. Nick has actually surprised me. He seems to have good work ethic. He's working very fast. But we just have to wait and see what happens when service starts. Right, take yogurt. So I'll take the grey mullet. Check on two covers, one trout tartare, one grey mullet. To follow, two bass. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah. Two bass. Yes, chef. Keep in mind now, the starters haven't even got going yet, right? So you yes, just say nice and calm, okay? Okay, yes, sir. How long in your tartar? Uh, tar How long in your grey mullet? Yeah, three minutes. Yeah. It's not quite as scary as I thought it was going really? to be. I'll try and change that. <laughs> I'll do a bit of shouting. You know what they say, Niall, don't speak too soon. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Yeah, this is the calm before the storm, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Niall may have to eat his words for lunch as Chef Joy calls the first of the orders. Two top, a salmon and a pork, a lamb and a chicken. One chips. None of us really know how we stack up, you know, until, until we do things like this. And I don't want to let them down. You know, we're, uh, we're representing the restaurant today, so I want to keep their standards high. Check on, two covers, one grey mullet, one tarif to follow. Two stone bass. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Yes, Chef. Two more stone bass. Now I'm getting panicky. Take your time, take your time, think about what you're doing. Okay, I can see a fingerprint. Is that finished? What's it missing? What's it missing? What's it missing? Olive oil. Okay. okay, olive oil on, let's go. Okay, if you can do that right through service, everything will be fine. Okay, let's go. Table 56. Okay, check on one raw salad, one grey mullet. To yes. follow, three sea bass, one gnocchi. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. So just finish that tart really quickly. Yeah, now the important thing is not to forget about that tart, okay? Yes, chef. New order, one apple crumble. Yes, chef. That's you, Sonia. Yes, chef. Thank you. This is very exciting, my first order. I have to concentrate and get it spot on. There's not really much space there, huh? Okay. It's not hot. Two lamb, two chicken and one pie. One more apple crumble on order. Yes, chef. Are okay, you happy with that? Yes, chef. That looks very nice, chef. Coming in, four covers, four grey mullet, one raw salad to follow, one sea bass, three beef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. 
I need to see those two sea bass now. Here, give me a few more herbs. A little bit more olive oil on the top. Do you remember I drizzled oh, yes, with yes, some yes, olive oil? Yes, yeah. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Hold your finger on the top of the bottle, otherwise you're going to end up with olive oil soup. So you're happy to let them go out? Yeah, the plates I could have, I'm sorry, I should have done better. Stephanie still needs to get a system going, while Nick seems to have found his stride. Get the oil in the pan, get the fish seasoned into the pan straight away, just get a nice crisp skin, um, flip it over under the salamander, and then start to think about my garnish. Hang on. That piece of fish is not cooked yet. Would you eat that? You need to concentrate, yeah? It's not just about going through the motions now. You're actually cooking now, yeah? So cooking is not about just following steps. It's about using your own emotions, i.e. your taste, feeling, senses. That would have come back. Remember the position of your piping bag? Yeah. Don't. It has to be like that, yeah? Straight, yeah. Paying customers. You just have to put that to the back of your mind and really concentrate on what you're doing, the work that you're doing, and hopefully, you know, the standard is good enough for them. With the reputation of the hot stove at stake, if a dish isn't right, it cannot be allowed to leave the kitchen. So let's try it again. Hey, so Sonia, how long now on that apple crumble? Two minutes, chef. How long? Two minutes. How long on the shoulder? Uh, it's ready now, Chef. Yeah, it's ready. It's one minute. up to temperature. One minute. Where's my apple crisps? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's okay. Service. Service, please. Okay, let's go. 46. Well done. If you just keep going the way you're going, then we should be okay. Thanks. All right? Thank you. Let's go. One stone bass, two beef, one chicken, one rosemary fries. Service, please. Yes, sir. Two stone bass, table 10. How many sea bass have you got on order now? I have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Correct. I think I've lost a half a stone since I started. You need to be thinking about the next table. Because otherwise you're just putting yourself under pressure. How long am one stone bass? How long? Um, now. Uh, one minute, Chef. Yeah, come on, let's go. And straight after that, I need two more stone bass, yes? Yes, Chef. Nick, are you having an easy time down there? Totally straight, Don't swap. <laughs> no, thanks. All I'm hearing are stone bass. Don't hear many mullets. OK, we've done 42 covers so far, OK? So you've done very well so far, eh? Now, you're starting to find your groove now a little bit, OK? That's your best two plates so far, eh? Thank you, Chef. Nice and clean. Perfect. Well, let's go here. She definitely needs to work on her... Just her nerve a little bit, just to calm down a small bit, you know? But, but that's all chefs when they first come into a kitchen, cos she was anxious to get it right. The only one thing I would have said about Nick today, I would have liked to see him under a little bit more pressure, cos I think he probably got the easier ride out of the two, you know? If I had to pick one over the other, I'd probably pick Nick just because I think he had a bit more skill set. OK, Sonia, we ready? We need to get this out now. The customer's waiting. Sorry, I need a spoon for spoon, myself. Spoon here, here. Your spoons are here. It may look sound easy just to put things on a plate, but there's a certain uh, direction and spacing, so, you know, it looks attractive to the eye. Not bad, not bad. Well done. Service. To be honest, I couldn't really fault anything he did. He listened to everything I said. And yeah, I'm very pleased with his performance. Service. Service. Wasn't too much pressure. Not too much. Well, you handled it very well, and each plate got better and better as you went through the day. So well done. Thank you. Hopefully, it will stand to me in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>